hey guys welcome to cloudy diys today's video is going to be a halloween special um because obviously guys today is halloween which is super exciting um i'm actually dressing up as a clown for halloween so that'll be interesting um but yeah so the first thing i'm going to be doing for this halloween special is two origami things so the first one is a witch and the second one is a ghost so yeah let's go on to it okay guys so for this one you can use whatever color paper you want but it has to be square and yeah so first you're gonna fold it diagonally sorry guys i said that i said diagonally weird i can't speak right now and you're just gonna fold it the best you can it's you want to get it as close to exact as it can possibly be but it's okay if you mess up a tiny bit so yeah i'm just doing that right now kind of a perfectionist when it comes to art because i get mad if it's like not perfect so yeah so next you're gonna fold one of those sides diagonally and make it on the middle line and you're gonna do that with the same side use generally in origami the rule is that whatever you do on one side you have to do on the other not all the time but just generally so yeah i'm doing both of those i did mess up a couple of times during this but only a tiny bit guys which and it's okay if you mess up a tiny bit in origami you want to stay as exact as possible in origami, but it's okay if you mess up a tiny bit. So right now, it kind of looks like a kite, and it looks very Halloween-y right now, because I did black, but the other side of it was orange, so. Okay, so then you're going to fold it down to a bit past where you can see the orange, See, or so you can only see the orange on the corners and then you're going to fold it up um i believe once or twice so i'm just going to be showing you guys that again you're just going to fold it up once you can do it twice if you think that will be better also guys if you don't already know this is the back side so you fold it up a quite a bit over the line and then you fold it one more time just again and yeah so when you flip it over it should look kind of like a witch's hat and then you can just fold it back you don't have to do this but it's just a nice little added detail to just fold the back over so you can see part of it from behind to me this kind of looks harry potter okay guys so next i'm gonna cut a little stripe out of blue paper because this looks too plain to me and sometimes they have like that little stripe around kind of near the bottom so i'm doing that i just had blue paper on hand so i just did that and i'm just gonna tape it um i tried painting my tape dispenser one so that's why it's like weirdly painted and stuff i didn't do a good job of it so i'm just gonna take this and i cut luckily there's like some extra so i'm just gonna fold that behind and then tape it down. Um, guys, at times during the video, you will see my camera kind of moves. I'm sorry about that because I just use an iPhone to film this, and I use a makeshift tripod. So if it does shake and you can notice, that's just because I'm using a makeshift tripod and my iPhone to film. Okay, so I think it looks cute. I kind of like that it's lopsided. Kind of bugs me, but it's also kind of cute. Okay, guys, so the next one is going to be a ghost. So for this one, you're going to fold it diagonally again. And I used yellow paper where the back side was kind of a more white color because I did not have any white origami paper. Again, guys, it needs to be a square piece of paper for this origami. And you can, if you know how to, you can just cut white paper into a square as well or computer paper and then you're just gonna do the same thing you did on the last one you after you do that diagonal you you're gonna fold one of the halves kind of like 
along the line. So I messed them on one of the sides, guys, so I just kind of did the other one and then fixed that one. And yeah. So next you're gonna take um the top part, the top that you can actually like unfold and stuff. And you're gonna fold it over. This is for the arms, guys. So you're just gonna fold it over however much you think. And you can kind of hold your finger there to make it even with the other one because you need to do both sides. Then you can just kind of flip it over and look at it, but that's what I did at least. And then you're going to fold it down for the top of the head because you don't want it to just be a pointy head. Um, and it looks like that. And then you're going to fold these little corners a tiny bit. You don't have to do this step. I just think it makes it look a bit better. So you can just fold it as little or as much as you like. I tried to do it as even as I could on both sides. Um, because you don't really want it to be incredibly uneven. Because then it might look kind of weird. But yeah, so. Then you kind of just do the same thing you do on the witch's hat. On the tip of it, you kind of just fold it back. So it's like that instead of being pointy okay guys and, and so basically next yeah, I, just I just kind of colored it, it slash more drew the eyes I wanted and the mouth so i was kind of just measuring it with my fingers to try to make it as even as possible guys it doesn't have to be even um although i did actually make that little mark right there but it's okay you can do this however you want you can do like a circle mouth i just did a smiley face because my ghost was not meant to be scary at all and just kind of cute one so i did teeth too even though ghosts don't have teeth but yeah so i also did a little tongue and yeah and then i just kind of filled in the inside of the mouth with black and left the teeth how they were and then with colored pencil i filled in the tongue okay guys so next we are actually going to do soap so for this, you need just soap base, which I only had clear, so I did clear, but guys, the reason I have all this stuff is, is I have a little business thing with my friends. No, it's not online, but it's still really fun, so yeah, so I decided to do a big batch. This ended up making seven soaps, so yeah. Okay, guys, so I need to cut this in half so it won't overflow the bowl. And yeah. So I'm just going to put it in there and put it in the microwave for about three minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back. It actually ended up taking me about five minutes to microwave the thing, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use hot chocolate for the scent. And I'm going to use orange food color or not food coloring it's actually soap coloring so, so, specifically for soap and i'm i used orange and um green they have weird names that almost make it like they're going to be scented but they're not okay so i use silicone mold that you would usually use for like cupcakes or stuff because i find that easiest to take them out Normal soap molds tend to get pretty hard to take it out, at least for me. So now I want to do a cool pattern on the bottom. So I'm just going to take my food coloring and kind of move it around to do this. Um, it's quite simple to do this, guys. Um, you can kind of just do dots. You can do random stuff. And it will hopefully end up just kind of with a little pattern on the bottom. Because when you put the soap down, as long as the food coloring is not dry... What it will actually do is kind of spread it out and keep part of the pattern. So yeah, I don't do detailed stuff because that stuff never turns out. But yeah. Okay, so this is soap. Like I said, it ended up taking me about five to six minutes to melt all the way since it was so much soap base. So I accidentally dropped my spoon in there. So just getting that out. Um... <laughs> And next, what we are going to do is just add food coloring and the scent. Not food coloring, I'm sorry, I keep messing it up, soap coloring. So I just added about six to seven drops. My container was almost empty, so it did take me a while to do it. 
but I added around seven drops in all since there was so much base. Um, and they tend to smell stronger when they're warm. So I like to add it where it's like really strong scent. Um, when it's warm, but yeah. Yeah, guys, this was like almost empty, which kind of sucked because it took me forever to add it. But so for the base, I'm not going to do green. I only did green for the little extra things on the bottom designs on the bottom i mean so i'm gonna color this base orange um and i just tried mixing the scent in the best i could so yeah okay so yeah now we're gonna add this it's actually called tangerine that's what they named it but it is just an orange just a normal orange so yeah it actually does have a bit of a red undertone, but like I said, it is an orange, and obviously orange is made with red and yellow. So, once I was done mixing this in, I just got out the silicones and um, did that. So, and I just poured it into all the silicones. As you can even see right there, it just started spreading out. And these are kind of Halloween-y. I didn't have any Halloween-y scents, but yeah. So after I filled all seven of the containers, I just kind of undid them. Um, I did leave it overnight, guys. Usually I don't do that. But since it did have food coloring on the... Or soap coloring on the bottom it takes a lot longer for that coloring to dry and if you don't let it dry you're going to get it all over your hands which i hate doing that so i just let it dry overnight and as you can see guys this is how i get that cool pattern that one doesn't look too cool it just has a dot but all of them are different they vary um and yeah, this one I just kept plain. And then this one, I believe, yeah, it had that design. And I was just kind of taking off extra bees since these are used for food. There could have been flour in there. Okay, so I have these really cute bags since I do sell my soap. So what I do is I actually put the scent that I used for them on my hands. So it says fresh and I started, like, this is my first time doing it, but I'm wrapping them in saran wrap so it can stay nice and fresh scented. Okay, guys, so this is when I've done all seven of them. And as you can see, they were wrapped in saran wrap. This is what they all look like. And I just tied it off with those things. And I got the bag and the little tie things for about $3 at Joann's. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you're notified every time I make a new video.